so uh, in this lecture we will be discussing the union of two ascending order languages uh, for watching this video it is essential that you watch my previous two videos wherein i have discussed about the ascending creation of the ascending order languages and the merging of two ascending order languages uh, the difference between the merging of two ascending order linguist and the uh, union of two ascending order linguist is only this that if we have the same element in the in, in the both linguist for example 10 here in this first linguist and 10 here in the second linguist then 10 is added only once in the final linguist rest of the things will remain same as there in the merging of two linguist for example 5 is a smaller than the 10, so 5 is added, and Q is incremented, then 10 is added, P is incremented, and Q is incremented as well at the same time, because we have P, we have uh, 10 in both the linguists, so that has to be added only once in the final linguist. So based on this fact, let us design the program for union of two ascending order linguists. So we have the uh, we have to create the union of two ascending order linguists. Two linguists are passed. The first address of uh, the address of the first node of both the linguists are passed as list one and list two. We are taking list linguist linguist three. P points at the first node of the first linguist. Q points at the first node of the second linguist. And by the time the comparisons are possible between both the nodes, both the linguists, we will follow this and we are adding a condition here if p dot info is equal to q dot info then we are adding that information only once in the final linguist so either you add p dot info or q dot info doesn't make any difference but since the information has to be added only once from both the linked list, P and Q both are incremented to point at the next node. Now, the rest of the things will remain same. Means, if P is smaller, so information information is added from P side. If Q is smaller, then information is added from Q side. And if some of the nodes are remaining, the comparisons are not possible. Add the remaining nodes of the next linked list one by one in the final linked list. So these are the things which are very, which which are same as the merging of the two ascending order linked lists that I have discussed in the previous lecture. So finally, we have created two linked lists: 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Another linked list. Having information 5, 10, 20, 15, 25, 27, and 29. We traverse these two linguists to find out if they are fine. And then call the function union by passing the address of the first node of first linguist and first node of second linguist. And then traversing this linguist tree. So here you can see that although 10 appeared twice and 20 appears twice in both the linguists, we have added that only once in the final linguist. So this is how you create the union of the two linguists. Thank you.